You see this shit? I do this for you guys. A member of the royal family wanted to know what fragrances should he wear when it's rainy outside? So James is here to deliver. These are my top five rainy day fragrances. Is my makeup running, guys? Welcome to J Royal, everyone. My name is James, and this, of course, is Top 5 Friday. If this is your first time on this channel and you do like fragrance, fitness, fun, then please subscribe. Precipitation can often derail our fragrance plans because we tend to wear fragrances that work for certain seasons. Freshies when it's warmer and the spicier, sweeter stuff when it's colder. But what do you wear when it's rainy? Kind of a tough question, right? Well, I'm here to offer my opinion on what are some of the best rainy day fragrances in my collection. To start this list, a rare appearance from an honorable mention, Vetiviro. Right? Vetivirio by Diptyque. The only reason this is an honorable mention is because I don't actually have a bottle. As you can see, I got a 10 mil traveler. I had to include this on the list because I feel vetiver is such an excellent note when it's rainy outside. And to my nose of the fragrances that I've had in my collection, this is so far my favorite vetiver. Vetivirio by Diptyque starts off with an almost sour burst but really settles into a nice, earthy, earthy vetiver that's really masculine. What I like about this fragrance is once it does settle on your skin, it really starts to evolve, it sweetens up, it still maintains its masculine edge. And I am a big fan of Diptyque. I don't think they get talked about enough, so here's my little expose. But anyway, let's get into the list. The number five fragrance on my rainy day list is Zephyro by Zerzhov. Part of the XJ1861 line, along with Naxos and Renaissance, Zafiro is probably the least popular of the three. It really is the most polarizing because it's an incense-based fragrance that has a bit of a barnyardy type of feel. If I had to compare this to other fragrances, I would say it's a more masculine version of Tom Ford's Sahara Noir and a less green version of Memoir Man by Amouage. The way I use this fragrance is a cold, rainy day. You know those days where it's borderline freezing rain? This fragrance really, really cheers me up on those conditions because so miserable outside, yet something about this fragrance is really comforting and warming. And I still stand by the XJ1861 line because of the value. The prices are pretty reasonable compared to other Zerzhoffs or even higher end stuff. So really, check this one out. Do not blind buy it. It is a bit polarizing, like I said, so. Beware! At number five, Zafiro. My number four rainy day fragrance, Elephant by Zoologist Perfumes. If you know Zoologist Perfumes, you know they make some avant-garde fragrances, but that's a big part of the reason why I love them. Although their fragrances are named after animals, they don't smell like animals. It's more of an artistic interpretation of where an elephant may reside, or perhaps parts of its diet are incorporated into the smell. What you get with this is this beautiful green quality that I have not smelled in any other fragrance. It's vibrant, a little bit floral, but definitely green. It almost feels like you're immersed in a jungle-like atmosphere and you can smell the dew on the leaves and perhaps some surrounding fruits in the distance. This is a fragrance that would thrive on a rainy spring day, you know? When I think of rain, I think of the circle of life. I think of nature. I think of flowers blooming. This fragrance is evocative of all of that. At number four, Elephant. My number three rainy day fragrance Bleecker Street, bond number nine. Similarly to Elephant, Bleecker Street also has a green quality to it that works well on warmer, rainy days. While most people would think to wear this in the high summer heat, I really, really love this when it's rainy outside. It's so juicy, vibrant, watery, fruity, while also green. That is really suited for the rainy weather. Juicy blueberry kind of represents the rain, and then the greenness is the green grass that gets wet. <laughs> Just trust me on it, guys. At number three, Bleecker Street. My number two rainy day fragrance is Fico di Amalfi by Aqua de Parma. Of course, 
part of the blue Mediterranean line. Fico di Amalfi is one of the most popular ones. And that's because it's a creative take on the note of fig. Kind of like vetiver, I feel fig is a great note when it's rainy outside. It has that dried fruit, slightly bitter quality that works nicely. And being an Aqua de Parma, you do have that citrus kick. The citrus undertone in this fragrance is very uplifting and it puts you in a better mood when it's crappy outside. Another nice thing about Aqua de Parma fragrances is the fact that they're relatively affordable for niche quality fragrances. They do fresh fragrances better than almost all niche houses and the prices are pretty reasonable, especially on the old gray market or the Facebook market. At number two, Fico di Amalfi. And my number one rainy day fragrance happens to be the only designer fragrance on this list. Aqua Fahrenheit by Christian Dior. Aqua Fahrenheit to me is borderline masterpiece. Say ooh. This is my number one rainy day fragrance because of its versatility. What's beautiful about this guy is it's a fresher take on Fahrenheit. This one actually retains the original's DNA. It still has that violet leaf, which gives it that slightly gasoline petroleum vibe. Not petroleum jelly. <laughs> Yet it's light enough that you can absolutely wear it when it's warmer outside. The only potential drawback with this fragrance is it's a Fahrenheit, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a younger dude, but if you're confident and you're alpha and you're masculine and you're handsome, then you can rock this, no problem. It's quite the checklist. <laughs> it's such a shame that this fragrance has been discontinued because it really is a rock star in my collection and it's the number one fragrance that I reach for when it starts to rain cats and dogs outside. If you find this on discount, pick it up at number one, Aqua Fahrenheit. Rainy weather is kind of a buzzkill, it's a bit of a bummer, but you can make it better by wearing an appropriate fragrance. Whether you reach something that's a bit brighter to lift your spirits, or you get something a little bit more out there to cut through the cold in the ever dropping temperatures, or you just get this and then you're good. All of our links to the Facebook group, Snapchat and Instagram are down below. And if you like what you see, then go ahead and subscribe. And like this video, top five over. Peace.